Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. And if you've been watching our program, in actual fact, the show has been all over the country this morning. Lebo and Man, part of the world, and my colleague, Chriselda Lewis, doing the job for us from the University of Johannesburg Soweto campus. Let's go back to it uh, once again. Good morning, Chriselda. Well, a very good morning to you once again, Sam. Still live here at the University of Johannesburg's Soweto campus. I can tell you it is chock a block here. We've got so many students who have come through here to the uh, Youth Development Expo coming to access information about what opportunities are available for them in South Africa. We're expecting a lot of exhibition halls uh, uh, here as well, exhibitions where uh, people also get advice. Young people will get advice about how to take their lives forward and most excitingly here is the partnerships the partnerships between government and the private sector here this morning we've got a number of ministers who are here this morning of course will be led by the deputy president uh, Cyril Ramaphosa to engage with young people about opportunities that are available for them in South Africa but of course government can't create jobs for every single individual and one of the crucial people I'm going to speak to here this morning is the small business enterprise minister Lindiwe Zulu who will talk to us about young people perhaps and business business what opportunities there are as well this morning minister thank you very much for your time this morning throngs so many young people scores are here to access information this morning the message that you're bringing minister we were just chatting off air is that how to create wealth from a young age to inspire young people to do that that's the message you're bringing this morning i understand Absolutely. The issue is here, we are politically free now. Now we have to make sure that we create wealth for black South Africans in particular. And it cannot be something that starts right at the top without addressing young people. The hordes of young people who are here, for me as a Minister of Small Business Development, they are my clients for the future. I see the fact that so many have come out in this morning to come and access information. Information is key to almost everything but I think also from a department of small business development is to encourage young people to look to entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship is the future creativity young people today must not only just be the consumers they must also think of themselves as the future innovators Many, many of them have got cell phones. They all use cell phones. My view is that they must all not be just the consumers of buying the cell phones. They must also think about how creative, what kind of apps they can develop that can be useful to themselves as young people. So here we bring information about possibilities of not only just finishing school, and then uh, uh, looking for a job. Mm -hmm. We're also saying to young people, when you finish school, you can actually go to Technicon. You can go to college. Those who can go to university, good enough for them. The wor Worldwide, you can find that technical colleges are very important because that's where innovation happens. Mm -hmm. So the message we're bringing here to young people is that everything is in their hands. It depends on them. Government can only create a conducive environment for them but young people and also a call to parents mm. parents must also assist their youngsters parents must not be afraid of technology parents must not keep on telling their children not to use the cell phones put the cell phone aside yes it's true when the family is having dinner or something that's okay but also parents must understand that the future today is about technology how do we change the mindset minister you know uh, of a dependency where young people are able to go out, they access opportunities, start their own businesses. We pointed out that government can't create jobs for every single individual, but for them to empower themselves. Well, the good thing about the Department of Small Business Development is that one, we have really put out the small the agenda for small businesses. It's almost everywhere. Everybody is talking about it. The second thing is that we're talking to the private sector because the private sector has got enterprise development um, opportunities. And now we're saying to the big businesses, let those enterprise development uh, resources that they have also focus on what can be done in schools so that young people can begin to look at enterprise from a school. But the other issue that we think we, it's important 
important for us, especially for the young people. The message we're bringing to them is save, save, save. They mustn't think that the only time that they're going to begin to have money is when they are older. Start, they must start saving today. If they put five rands per day, two rands per day, um, every day and set it aside, it will be exciting to see how in a five years time that money that they've been putting away can be money that can, can use mm -hmm. as a startup. Government, of course, all departments have got startup programs for small and medium enterprises and we as a department, we have been talking to all departments to say each and every department must now communicate mm -hmm. what does it have for small and medium enterprises. But of course as a department, we need to take the responsibility mm -hmm. of being the voice for small and medium enterprises so when we know what's in there for each and ev in each and every department, we must go out and find the small and medium enterprises, yeah. inform them of the opportunities, mm -hmm. if it's in housing, if it's in energy, if it's in, 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 in any sector of That's government. Right. We must mobilize, organize for them and communicate for them. Lastly, I think what is important is about skills development. Mm -hmm. As a department, we are sure that skills are the most important, even for the informal sector. As a result, we have been training uh, the informal sector people on how to manage their own businesses, how to package yes. the things that they sell, so they can be sustainable. how can they mm. also understand the regulations around the area from where they are operating. Yes. This we have done across the country. We've trained a few for now, a yes. thousand only, but they all spread out in the provinces. This is one of our flagship programs which we are very proud of. Well, we look forward to engaging with those young people, Minister, those who perhaps want to start their own businesses and, of course, maybe get some support at a later stage from uh, the department. Minister of uh, Small Business Development, uh, Lindwe Zulu, thank you very much for your time. You. Uh, certainly a bit later on as well, Sam, we will be chatting to a lot of these young people who came here today to be inspired, to get access to information, to ensure that at a later stage they're able to empower themselves. A range of ministers are here as well. We'll try to speak to them a little bit later on as well. But of course, the Deputy President, Cyril Ramaphosa, will lead this delegation of ministers to engage with these grade 11s and grade 12s who are hungry for information on how to take their lives forward but certainly we'll come back to you a bit later on speaking to some of those young people and uh, get a sense of what their challenges are and how they plan to utilize successfully so the information that they will gather here today.